Pressure canning is the only method recommended by the U.S. Department of Agriculture for safely canning low acid foods such as vegetables, meats, and fish. Low acid foods must be canned at a temperature of 240 degrees Fahrenheit or higher and held there for the time specified in the recipe to destroy the bacterial spores naturally present in these foods. Pressure canning utilizes pressurized steam to reach this superheated temperature. This pressurized heat destroys the potentially harmful bacterial spores. Dial gauge canners have a dial on the top of the lid with numbers for monitoring the pressure as it builds and during processing. Dial gauges should be checked for accuracy every year. A rack goes on the bottom of all canners to prevent jars from sitting directly on the canner, which gets very hot and can cause jar breakage. Place your rack in the bottom of the canner. To use your pressure canner, first read the manufacturer's directions. Then add two to three inches or two quarts of hot water to the canner. Heat water to simmer. Next, place filled jars carefully on the rack using a jar lifter. Then place the lid onto the canner and lock into place. Now it's time to vent the canner. Leaving the weight off the vent port, turn the stove burner to its highest setting and heat the canner until steam flows from the vent. Let the canner steam until a steady stream of steam starts to flow from the valve. Once you have a steady stream, set a timer for 10 minutes. You will need to vent the canner for a full 10 minutes before pressurizing. Next, pressurize the canner by placing the weight on the vent port. As the canner pressurizes, you will see the needle increase on the dial gauge. Monitor the pressurizing so once it reaches the recommended pressure, you are ready to process. Set your timer according to the research-based recipe. Regulate the heat under the canner to maintain a steady pressure. If the pressure reading goes below the recommended pressure, bring the pressure back up and start the timing process again. Once the timer goes off, turn off heat to the canner. Pressure canners take time to depressurize after processing and before the lid can be opened. Wait until the needle drops to zero. After the canner is depressurized, remove the weight from the vent port. Unfasten the lid and remove it carefully. Open the lid away from you so that the steam does not burn you. Leave the jars in the canner for 10 minutes to keep liquid from leaking out. Then carefully remove the jars using a jar lifter by lifting them straight out of the canner. The water on the lids will evaporate. Place jars on a towel, cutting board, or rack to cool for 12 to 24 hours. After 12 to 24 hours, once jars have sealed, label each jar with the date and the name of the product. If a jar did not seal, you have the option to reprocess using the same processing time, freeze, or place in the refrigerator and consume. To store your jars of canned food, remove the rings, place in a dry, dark area, and use within one year.